Good evening and welcome to the programme. I'm Alastair Cohen and tonight's top story, laziness plus news equals happiness. And that's maths. From places with silly names across the globe to where you are, it's Why Do We Need That News. Researchers in a highly scientific researchy type place have just discovered Snacker, an iPhone app that'll read you daily news from a range of different sources without you ever having to open a newspaper or scroll through a website. The app, which allows users to hear weather reports and friends' birthday reminders by linking it to Facebook, has been described by some critics as very useful indeed. To find out how it all works, let's go live to our extremely handsome geek correspondent, Alistair Cohen. Alistair? Thanks, Alistair. And you're right, this is a very useful app. It avoids the need to go and search for breaking news in numerous different sites by bringing it all into one place and then reading it out for you so there's no effort involved at all. From CNET News, Google's Project Glass, envisioning the business boost. Skeptical about smart glasses that could augment your visual reality with data on the fly? You should be. But it is worth pondering some potential business uses for these newfangled glasses. From Venture Beat, Microsoft still paying developers big bucks. When you start the app for the first time, you can choose which news sources you want to look at. So I've chosen these ones. But there's a whole range of different news sources you can look at. Music, uh, business, and all sorts of other ones that you can choose from. So pretty clever and great for lovers of passive news, where the news just sort of comes to you instead of you having to go and find it. And that's it. So back to the studio. Fantastic. So a great app, I'm sure we'll agree. But many viewers are probably wondering, why do I need that? Well, as I demonstrate in these next clips, it can be used to avoid mishaps by allowing you to listen to news as you walk along instead of reading it. Well, really, I can't believe you could... It's great for avoiding issues of big newspaper on a small train. Its relaxing tones are perfect for sending you off to sleep at the end of a long day. <sighs> and it rounds up all your favourite news sources into one cluster, like a sort of news rodeo. Come on, catch me some current affairs! Breaking news now. Yes, so it appears that Snacker is free to download from the App Store, which is obviously great news for all of us in these tough economic times. Bless you, Snacker. Bless you. Now, if you've been affected by any of the issues discussed in this bulletin, do leave a comment below telling us how you feel. And also, the subscribe button has been provided for you above the video. Click that for ongoing updates as the story unfolds. For now, though, have a great evening. I'm Alistair Cohen, and I'm no longer required to read the news as I've been replaced by an app. Andrew, what's, who, who put this here? What is this about? 